And then the solutions to these would be you set each factor equal to zero. Um, Can we map this Oh, this part's on the test. Um, this room smells like farts. I'm terrible, sorry about that. I'm sorry, like I just sat down. I just want to leave All right, we may edit that comment out if you don't mind. Um, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I'm trying to find one that has, is a little bit more interesting, but not deadly on here. And I'm going to rate it up. What time is this class uh, over today? 10.09. Do you have tissue yet? Um, no, I don't. Which is in like oh, it's 10.02. I okay. think we should stop. We got enough time for one more of these. No. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, we do. Pardon? All right, I'm glad. All right, oh, not that one, not that one. All right, this one. Okay, f of x equals um, x cubed, okay, minus x squared plus 49x minus 49. Okay, we look at the 49, all right? Look at the 49, and what uh, are our possible guesses? Seven, what else? Let's go into an order, actually. One is a plus or minus one is always going to be one. And then what, James? Twelve. Plus or minus seven is about it. And then 49. 49 is only seven times seven and one times 49. So we've got six numbers to check, three positive, three negative. It seems to be lucky to start with the low numbers. It's going to be one? It's going to be some type of one. Right, because right, one is one cubed minus one squared plus 49 minus 49. It seems to be positive or negative one? It doesn't matter. Let's try one first. I think it'll work either way. Let's find out. Bring down the 1. 1 times 1 is 1, right? That's actually 0 right there. 1 times 0 is 0. 49 plus 0 is 49. 1 times 49 is 49. Add them. I get a 0. So 1 is a solution. We're just going to look for solutions right now. Negative 1. Yeah, negative 1 will be a solution. Will negative 1 also work? Yeah. Uh, no. 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 Well, Okay, let's check it real quick so people can see. Mm -hmm. It won't. It won't? No. Okay, because we'll get 1, negative 1, 49. Some of you guys get really good at this game. I like that. So this becomes 1. We get a negative 1. We get a negative 2 here. We get a positive 2. This gives us a 51. We get a negative 51. And rather than 0, I'm getting negative 100, which is a little bit far from 0. A little? <laughs> All right. Um, so this didn't work. X equals 1 didn't work. Now take a check out what happened here with our answer. 1 plus 0 plus 49. 1, 0, and 49. We started with X cubed. I said dividing by, when you ever do synthetic substitution or synthetic division, your result starts one degree lower. So this actually means our next factor. So it's X squared plus 49. Yeah, X squared plus 49. Or in more detail, x squared plus 0x plus 49, or just x squared plus 49 equals 0, is how we'll find our next solution. Um, there's a difference of squares rule. Is there a sum of squares rule? No. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If you're told to find all real solutions, okay, you can actually stop here. But if you're told to find all solutions, here's what you have to do next. You can subtract 49 from both sides. Gets you x squared equals negative 49. Yeah, take the square root of both sides. Well, it's negative 49. And just to quickly review where this comes from, you get plus or minus the square root of 49 times the square root of negative 1. So you get plus or minus 7i. Plus or minus 7i, which I think I first heard Dean say a moment ago. So if I ask for all the solutions to this, the solutions to this polynomial are x equals 1, x equals 7i, and x equals negative 7i. If I ask for all the real solutions,
questions, it's just one. If I ask you how many times does this hit the x-axis, it's just once here. The eyes don't hit the x-axis. 10 on 9, so I'm going to stop there and give you some homework. <coughs> you don't have to do that.